Afflin. He is a senior at Southern Door County High School. You've just published your first novel, Incredible. Just 18 years old, writing books. Tell us about this one that you have. Um, basically, Rebel and Roman was an idea that I came up with when I was in eighth grade. And it is set during 52 BC, which is the year that Julius Caesar was finishing his conquest of Gaul, which would be modern day France. And the story basically follows two brothers who end up on opposite sides of this war. They're both natives of Gaul, but they were fighting for the Roman army. And one of them gets to the point where he realizes morally he cannot continue to do this. And rebellion breaks out, so they end up on opposite sides. And I think we have to give the viewers a little bit of background. I mean, you are clearly a history buff, right? I am, I am. You've been yes. studying history for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. What made you want to write something like this? Your mom and I were talking before. I mean, you were doing, you've been writing since you were super little, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So what made you want to do a book? I think it's always been something that I've really been passionate about because I have been writing for so long. Mm -hmm. And I think just the natural next step would be to publish a book and get something out there in the real world with my name on it. And loving history so much, I thought the best thing to do would be to write a historical fiction novel where I could stick with the history that I really enjoyed, mm -hmm. but also add my own element of fiction to it. What did it feel like whenever you got your first copy in your hand? It was phenomenal. I remember coming home and I got my first proof copy and mm -hmm. I just kind of tore the box open. Like, this is so <laughs> awesome. And it's like, look, this is a book with my name on it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really cool. You know, I read a lot to now have a book that I actually it's did. It's yours. Yeah. That is absolutely incredible. What was the process like? I mean, like you said, you've been doing it, working on it for quite a while. What was it mm -hmm. like to finally get it finished? It was, it was kind of relief mm -hmm. uh, knowing that I have been working on this thing for about three years mm -hmm. and now it's finally done. Um, but it was also really encouraging to know that now I have a book, I can do this, right. and now I can move on and do more. So now I have one under my belt and I hope to continue it. And, and that's right, you have plans for more, right? So you're already working on the next one. I do. Um, I have another three books actually that are part of a trilogy. Mm -hmm. um, one of which I just got back the edited rough draft, mm -hmm. so I will begin making my edits on that. And that one will hopefully be available come spring. So. Hopefully within the next two or three years, I will get that trilogy available Absolutely too. Absolutely incredible. All right, so tell everybody, you're a senior this year. What are your plans? Um, I plan to attend Martin Luther College in New Ulm, Minnesota next mm -hmm. year to pursue pre-seminary studies for the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, so the pastor route. This is absolutely incredible. You are such a gifted, gifted young man, and this is not the only time we're going to be seeing you. Thanks so much for being with us, Austin. Thank you for having me. Congratulations and great, great work. Thank for you. For more for information about Austin's book and where to purchase it, just visit our website and click on this story.